This is the Getting Into Alignment podcast. Here we play in the quantum world of possibilities. If you desire it, you get to have it. My name is Alexa Ray Smith. I'm a business coach and spiritual teacher for women in business. I'm here to help you unlock your personal power and tap into your magnetism so that you can manifest the most incredible life for yourself and build the business of your dreams. These episodes will help you plug into the energy of infinite potentiality and teach you the tools you need to play in this world where limitations don't exist. On this podcast, I'll be talking to you about energetics, mindset, embodiment, spirituality, money, and business. Everything that you want is on the other side of you getting into alignment. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Getting Into Alignment podcast. I'm your host, Alexa Ray Smith. And I just want to mention, if you have not yet joined my Manifestation Academy, AOMU, you're going to want to get in right now. If you are on my email list, I sent you an email today of a bunch of reasons why now is the best time to join this academy. And I want to reiterate them here because I don't really talk about the Academy a lot on here and joining it, but it is so fucking good. I did the math the other day and there are a hundred hours of content in this Academy. There are 15 different programs. There are 30 plus exercises and practices. And the thing is, is a lot of manifestation teachers are regurgitating the same old stuff. They aren't putting any new perspectives on it. They aren't really changing anything. They're reading one book or they're reading a few books or they took one manifestation program and then they're just regurgitating it. And then a lot of them are giving you like five minute long videos and there's like 10 of them. And then they end up giving you a PDF, like a Canva PDF. And that's the only thing they give you to actually do the work and facilitate it. And a lot of them don't understand the languaging of the subconscious mind. So they're using negations in anything that they do give you, which actually creates the opposite effect. It's truly insane to me. I was even just watching an episode of Vanderpump Rules, and there was an episode where they go to a hypnotherapist and the hypnotherapist is using the worst script that I've ever heard. She just uses negations like all throughout it and it didn't end up working for the person. And I was like, well, I wonder why. So here's the thing is just because anybody can call themselves a teacher or a coach these days doesn't mean that like they know what they're talking about, right? So The thing that's so amazing about AOMU is not only do I know what the fuck I'm talking about, I've been doing this work for 18 years, I also give you in-depth videos. Every single video within the Academy is at least an hour long and sometimes they're longer. That means that you get typically four hours of content in each program and that allows you to really go deep and submerge and apply the practices. Plus within the program, I give you specific tools and resources that help you implement what's going on in there. And you guys know I do not play in the Newtonian world. I don't play in that things have to take a long time. Everything is energy and everything is responding to you. So shifts don't have to take a long time and they actually really shouldn't because it's all frequency and mindset. And when you learn to master that, things can happen so fucking quickly. I got a message today from one of my students who literally joined the academy three days ago. And you can see this on my TikTok story, but it's because it's such a long one that I'm not even going to read it here. But the amount of shifts that she's had in three days, she was talking about how she can listen to her highest self more than she's ever been able to. She's made shifts that she didn't even think was possible from escaping the matrix. And like you guys, this is just the beginning. So I want you to know that it literally can all happen for you so fucking quickly when you are given the right tools and when you are given the right information to really apply it. And when it goes in depth, it's not just this same 
information that's just recycled over and over again, which is common. And a lot of the people, I'm going to be quite honest with you, are keeping their videos so short because they have no fucking idea what they're talking about. They are just telling what they've seen work or what they had work for them. But it's like, just because it worked for them doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone else. Everyone has had different experiences. Everyone has different programmings. So if you're somebody that truly wants to learn to transform your entire life, quickly, then you're going to want to get into the Manifestation Academy. And reasons why you want to get in right now is one, there is a $100 off tuition code that is available until 8-6. So if you use the code MANIFEST, all capital letters, you will save $100 off of tuition, which will decrease your monthly payment every single month. And you can still use the full moon magic workshop to release and manifest with the Aquarius full moon that happened last night. We are in a shadow period for three days, so it's still very, very potent. It's got a meditation. It's got practices. It's so good, and it will teach you to work with all of the different astrologies for all of the full moons. Also, we are in the Lion's Gate portal. It goes until... 812 and it really starts 88 to 812. There is a Lion's Gate portal workshop in there, which also has a meditation, which also has a bunch of practices for you to really tap into the Leo energy and to tap into how potent this portal is. And if you have not yet joined the money game, first of all, I don't know what the hell you're doing because the people in there are having such insane shifts. Typically, they are telling me that within two days of doing this work, they are seeing so many shifts. I've gotten so many comments on this program alone that I've listed them all on the website because I like I can't even keep up. I've missed a lot of them too because people are commenting on my live streams. So I haven't been able to keep up with all of them. But like this workshop is so fucking good. And the fact that it's only $33 is insane. But that's also why if you get in and you've been playing the game with us, you have access until August 30th, but then your access is going to go away because literally every single day has been worth more than $33. So if you still want to get in, you can get in. But if you want lifetime access to the money game and you want access to my entire money program, including the money sleep affirmation tape that I dropped last night. So it's a nine hour affirmation that will allow you to reprogram your mind towards wealth while you're sleeping. Like literally all you have to do is press play and it comes with a private podcast feed so you can literally play it all night long without worrying about your phone turning off. And what's so beautiful about it is that it's long enough that you can play it while you're sleeping and you can still wake up hearing it so that way if you're someone like me who is not able to meditate first thing in the morning because I adopted a crazy puppy <laughs> and she and Ghost are very active in the morning. So I I tried to do a meditation first thing yesterday morning and Gaia cried throughout basically the entire thing because she wanted attention and she wanted to play. So even if you're someone like me that currently cannot meditate first thing in the morning just because of their schedule or they have a baby in the house or they have a puppy in the house, whatever it may be, What's so good about this is it can play so that way when you're first waking up in that theta state that you can listen to it and still be hearing the affirmation so it was going into your brain while you were sleeping and while you're waking up and in the theta state, it's deepening to reprogram your mind. And the best part is, is the music that you listen to has Delta waves playing throughout it. So it's super beneficial for while you are sleeping. And it's like literally so good. I don't know if you have heard how impactful that sleep affirmations are. And I always tell you guys not to listen to the ones on YouTube or well, basically, I don't know where else you would get them besides YouTube. But like the ones on YouTube are absolutely terrible. They have no idea what they're talking about and they all use negations and not to mention the fact that the YouTube commercials play in between it and almost every single commercial everywhere is about something that's causing you 
illness <laughs> in your body or in your mind. So it's so fucking good. Like I literally can't even believe that you get access to the Academy for the price that it's at right now. It's really, really insane. And it's so fucking good. Everybody tells me how safe they feel, how much they're shifting, how they feel really able to transform themselves because they have all of the tools and resources. And this is coming from somebody that has been trained in trauma modalities, who has been trained in EFT tapping, who has been trained in hypnosis, who has been trained in neuro-linguistic programming, who is a certified Reiki master, who studied human design for five years and has given hundreds of human design readings. There's just so much in there. And if you are one of my private clients, you do get access to the Academy. So I just wanted to give you like an in-depth on the podcast. Like if you have not known, if you are new here, because I know that I did recently just start putting these episodes on YouTube and I've been getting a lot new people listening to the podcast on YouTube. So I just wanted to like put that out there. If you don't know, now you know, AOMU is the place like I'm telling you. In a year from now, if you invest in this, you will not even recognize the life that you're living in and the person that you see in the mirror in the best fucking way because you will have shifted your entire life. All right, so for today's episode, I want to talk to you about how to detach from your circumstances in a different lens because quite honestly, this is the question that I receive the most often from my clients, from my students, and from my followers on TikTok especially. Now, here's the thing, is you all understand, and I feel like I've explained on the podcast already, that your 3D circumstances are a reflection of what's going on inside of you. So I want to frame this from a different lens because... Oftentimes when we talk about these universal principles and we talk about these concepts that really do seem empowering because it really gives you so much power over your life, but it's so different from what you've been told, it sometimes is difficult for our human brains to grasp it and to really understand it in a lens that is applicable so that way we can take the information and apply it to our own life. And that's where I see a lot of people, they know all of the things in manifestation, but there's a gap and there's a disconnect from them knowing and then them being able to integrate it and apply it so that way that they actually transform their lives. And this is why I always tell you guys, like if you're just scrolling through TikTok all day long, trying to find some secret, that's going to help you quantum leap into your desired reality, it doesn't exist. And you're just wasting more time because you could literally just be applying the information that you know and transforming your life. And what I always say to my clients is, is that if you were able to apply it, then you, you wouldn't need my help or you wouldn't be asking all of these questions or you wouldn't be scrolling through TikTok so much. I often say that a lot on my live streams when there's people that come in like all the time and they're asking the same questions or they comment a lot on my videos and they're basically asking the same question over and over again. And I'm like, there's only so many ways that I can answer a question when it's like, there's obviously something that you need in the gap. And that's what AOMU does. It give you literally everything, all of the information and all of the tools. So that way you're not just scrolling, you're learning, integrating, and applying it so that way it becomes embodied. So what I want to talk to you today about is how you are essentially a radio transmitter. And I tell you guys oftentimes that based on the holographic model and how your brain is actually like in a neuroscience lens is is a hologram. So this isn't some spiritual new age mumbo jumbo. It's literally now spirituality and science have caught up. Specifically, science has caught up to spirituality. So since I've used this analogy so many times of you are a projector and what you're seeing in your 3D is your consciousness being projected out 
into your 3D. I want to explain it in a different way today. And I did write about this in my manifestation book. If you guys know, you know I've been writing a manifestation book, which will hopefully be coming out very soon. But I want to go in depth and really explain it here because I just felt really called to come onto the podcast and record this. So I want you to think about the fact that you are a radio transmitter. Now you understand that when you listen to a radio that you can only receive the signal for which you're tuned to. So if you're in your car and you have your radio at 88.1, but you wanna listen to 106.5, you know that you need to tune the radio to 106.5 because even if you're at 106.1 or 106.7, they're still gonna be static if at best, you know, you probably still can't hear it or it's gonna cut in and out, but you're not gonna actually be listening to the music that you wanna listen to. And a lot of people want to have an abundant life. They wanna have a loving life. They want to have a life where they're feeling happy and they're feeling fulfilled and they're feeling satisfied and they're feeling successful. But at the end of the day, if we think about a radio transmitter and we think about the scale of frequencies of of emotions, all of those feelings are very high frequency. So 106.5 is really towards the top of where the radio scale goes. And then the lower you go, it's just lower frequencies, right? Well, that's the same way it works with emotions. And a lot of people want to feel these feelings, but they're operating at 88.1 all day long. And it's like, you're never going to get those feelings if you're operating in the complete opposite. If you're operating in lack, if you're operating in a place where you feel disempowered, if you are unsatisfied, if you feel unsuccessful, if you feel like a failure, if you feel unhealthy, all of these feelings are the complete opposite of what you want to feel. And at the end of the day, that's why I see a lot of people either calling manifestation bullshit or getting frustrated because their manifestations aren't coming in seemingly fast enough, or they're the people that have been trying to manifest something and it's taken like more than a year. And it's like, because at the end of the day, you are at a completely different frequency. And the way that I have come to start explaining the law of attraction, because there's been so many teachings about it and our mind just loves to overcomplicate things. And because the archaic law of attraction teachings just only explain the mind, I feel like people get really lost in the maze of their mind. So the way I say it now is the law of attraction is you get what you're giving off. So the frequency that you're get giving off is gonna be the frequency that you are getting, aka seeing in your reality and feeling into And so a lot of people keep going around at this 88.1 frequency and then waiting to see 106.5 manifestations in their reality. And it's like the math does not math. There's no way for the universe to give you something that you're not giving off, aka you need to give it to yourself first. You are, and we all are, transducers. So what that means is we are able to convert energy to another form of energy. And that's often the most common example is a microphone, that it's converting energy from an acoustic to an electronic version. But I want you to think about it and apply it to yourself because you are always just converting energy. We know in the quantum world, everything is energy. Even in Newtonian science, when they tell you that there's nothing there or whatever they use in those terms, it's really that everything is 99.999% energy. So there's mostly energy in everything, including you and everything that you see. And I always put quotations around see because you're not actually seeing things. Your eyes are picking up vibrations and then they are converting them to an image that you are familiar with. That is why it's so powerful when you actually visualize and create your new reality in your mind so you see it there first so that way you can see it outside of you because your subconscious mind doesn't work in words. It works in imagery. And so at the end of the day, 
this is also why vision boards work because you are giving your subconscious mind an actual visual of what you want. And that's why you have heard from everyone under the sun, actors, musicians, comedians, anyone, anywhere. You heard them say, I had a vision board and that was the exact, that was the exact house. That was the exact car. That was the exact amount of money, whatever it was. And it's like, because they were focusing so much on the image of what they wanted to create rather than the images that they were seeing outside of them. And this is when people are really, really potent manifestors because they aren't looking for evidence outside of them. As I always tell you guys, well, I tell my students and I tell my clients and I say it a lot on TikTok, you need to be the evidence until you see the evidence. I see so many people though looking outside of them for evidence when it's like, you have to be the evidence. If you're walking around uncertain and unconfident that your manifestation is gonna come true, then of course it's not gonna come in because you're the only one who's creating it. If you're not confident and certain, then no one is. So at the end of the day, you really need to know that whatever you're focusing on and whatever you're feeling into is absolutely going to manifest. But so many people are practicing this in the opposite way. You're doing this when you worry or when you play into fear. Because the thing about a manifestation is it's the thought and the feeling. And it's like when you're worrying or fearing about something, you're talking consistently about what you don't want to happen, or you're thinking consistently about what you are afraid of happening. And because there's such a potent energy from the fear and the worry, and because you are focusing so in depth and so clearly on what you don't want to happen, and your brain does not understand negation, so the don't doesn't matter. It's the focus and the feeling. And because you are manifesting with your focus and your feeling, that's why when you worry about things, it almost always happens. That's why when you fear about something, it almost always happens. Because you are giving the universe, aka your subconscious mind, a very, very clear indication of what you want. Even though you think that you don't want it, the amount of time you spend focusing on it, what you focus on expands, is actually creating it in your reality. So you have to really learn to master yourself. You need to master your emotional intelligence. You need to master your mindset. You need to master your frequency. Because when you master yourself, you manifest everything in your reality so easily because if you don't want to have a belief, you get to change it. And the thing is, is you change the belief and then your reality changes. You have to get out of this broken narrative that I'll see it when I believe it. I'll, no, <laughs> opposite, that I'll believe it when I see it because it's really, like I just said, is I'll, I'll see it when I believe it. You have to believe First, you have to see it in your mind first. You have to feel it in your body first. Because if you're waiting for something outside of you to make you believe in something or to make you feel a certain way or whatever, it's never going to happen. It might be a quick dopamine hit, but it's not going to be sustainable and it's not going to be lasting because you're generating the feelings inside of you. You have the availability to generate any feeling at any time. You can be tuned to 88.1 or you can be tuned to 106.5. You can't blame that on anyone else or anything outside of you or your circumstances because that's just an excuse from your ego for you not actually doing the work on yourself. And that's why I always tell people it isn't privilege when people are wealthy. 88% of millionaires are self-made. They worked very, very hard on themselves to master a wealth consciousness and a wealth frequency. Privilege isn't being wealthy. I would argue that poor people are acting way more privileged because they're blaming everyone else and everything outside of them on the reason why their reality hasn't changed. And like I always tell you guys, if you don't change, how could you expect your reality to change? That's literally the sheer definition of insanity. You have to change so that way your reality changes. And yes, there's a lot of universal laws and there's a lot of mindset work and there's a lot of nervous system regulation and there's a lot of frequency work and there's a lot of money work and love work and healing work and all of the things. And yes, I teach you all of this in my academy, but it's like at the end of the day, if you aren't changing how you're feeling and how you're thinking, 
and how you're talking to yourself or about your reality in the moment, then your reality isn't actually changing because you are stuck in this blaming energy or you're stuck in this waiting energy. And it's like, you have to understand that you're always focusing, you're always manifesting, you're always creating your reality. But are you doing it consciously by doing this work or are you doing it unconsciously and then continuing to play the blame game? At the end of the day, blaming people isn't going to get you anywhere. Like it's really not. No one cares. Like truly, no one cares. You have to realize that everything that's happening outside of you is just a reflection of what's going on inside of you. So if you don't like it, you have to stop talking about it and you need to go inward and say, well, then why do I keep creating this? If I don't like it, then why do I keep allowing this? If I don't like it, then why do I keep allowing myself to play out this pattern? Why do I keep having this low self concept? Why do I keep letting my limiting beliefs rule my life? Why do I keep letting my emotions master how I feel? Why do I keep being this person? Because the sooner that you actually get to the get to work and understand that at the end of the day, time doesn't matter. It doesn't have to take a long time. It's all energy. And when you actually master your own frequency, when you master tuning yourself to the 106.5 frequency and you start mastering living there so that way your cells literally recode to operate at a higher frequency, that way you can sustain the wealth, you can sustain the love, you can sustain the happiness, you can sustain all of these feelings that you want to feel. And it's like, you get to feel however you want to feel at any time. And the sooner you go inward and start cultivating these feelings and generating the feelings inside of you, so that way the radio antenna that you are can start broadcasting a new frequency. Because all of the universal principles are responding to your vibration, like law of vibration. And Bob Proctor used to always say that the law of vibration was the most important law because of the fact that this is all an energetic universe. Everything is vibrating. Even the things that we see as matter, quote unquote, see aren't actually matter. They're just vibrating at a lower frequency and then manifesting through our eyes as something that's physical and matter. And I see so many people trying to change matter with matter. And it's like Albert Einstein said, you can't solve the problem in the same frequency that it was created because that's when you're going to believe that you can hard work your way from lack into abundance. And that's never going to actually work. Or it's going to be one of those things that you do for 30 years and you're miserable the whole time. And it's like, what's the point? You could instead get so much more work done by just mastering your feelings and emotions. Abraham Hicks says that if I want to say it's 60 seconds, that if you are able to focus your thoughts and feelings for 60 seconds on what you want, that's more than 2000 hours worth of manual labor. And that is from Ask and You Shall Receive if you look at the PDF, the accompanying PDF that comes with it. It might even be 17 seconds of focus, honestly, because that's what they normally say. So either way, though, if you focus for less than a minute on your thoughts and your feelings, you will be able to do so much more than you would have been able to do in 2,000 hours worth of action and work. Let that sink in. That's why we always say work smarter, not harder, because wealthy people don't work harder for their money. They make their money work for them and they're smarter about it and they invest better. And well, they invest in general. Poor people typically don't invest. So it's like you have to understand that if you keep believing these same limiting beliefs, if you keep believing what you are programmed to believe in society, that's when you're going to keep getting really caught up in what's happening outside of you and then being reactive. And when you're reactive, you are the opposite of being creative. And here's the thing is if you're giving off the frequencies that are creating your reality and you keep reacting to them and freaking the fuck out, then you are, it's like, it's just inception. You're freaking the fuck out over something that's outside of you 
and getting upset that it's outside of you when you're refusing to look at the fact that it's happening inside of you. So it's like, of course you feel tired. Of course you feel burnt out. Of course you feel frustrated. Of course, of course you feel angry because you're looking at something that is projected outside of you and then getting mad that it's there, but not dealing with the root cause, which is you. And like I always tell you guys, manifestation is a game of you versus you. It's a one-on-one game. There's no one else that matters in the process of manifestation because you can literally change your circumstances at any time, but you need to be conscious and aware in the moment of how you're creating your circumstances so that way you can laugh when something happens outside of you and you go, oh, damn, I started entertaining that old story again, started believing that old belief again. I started feeling the way that I used to feel. Like, isn't that funny? Like, I see you, universe, I see you. And these are the people that really have a high emotional intelligence and they've done the mindset work and they've done the frequency work. So that way, when things happen outside of them, it's just evidence. It's just evidence of where you're at. It's not something to get upset over. It's just like, oh, that old story again. Oh, that old belief again. Oh, that old feeling again. Isn't that funny? Let me just laugh at it. Because at the end of the day, life is a simulation. Like you are a real life Sims. That's why I'll never fucking understand people that play video games. Like I I don't get it all at all. Or people that play (laughs) games on their phones. Like what are you doing? You're playing games to avoid your reality and to escape your reality when you're living in a virtual reality right now. And if you just learn to master yourself, then you would never need to play a video game or to play a game on your phone. You could be out living your best life. It's just like, it makes no, it makes no sense to me. That's like, that is the ultimate definition of inception. But this is what reality is. It's not real. It's just a simulation. So why are you getting so stressed about it? Why are you getting so caught up in it? Why are you letting it affect you so much? but at the same time, refusing to change, refusing to do the work, refusing to be accountable of why you're creating it. Because the sooner you just turn that mirror on you, that's when everything gets to change so quickly for you. So if you're somebody that keeps getting caught up in the 3D, if you feel like you haven't been able to master the law of detachment, if you keep letting your circumstances dictate how you feel, then I just want you to know that like you're human and that's how you were programmed. But if you actually want to manifest your dream life, you have to unprogram yourself from everything that you were programmed, everything that you were programmed while you were growing up because it was a lie. And the sooner that you just start challenging everything you've ever been told, the sooner your reality will change. And if you want help doing this, then get into the Manifestation Academy. Use the coupon code MANIFEST, all capital letters, and save $100 on your tuition. And I'm telling you, by this time next year, you're going to be the person that is laughing when things happen outside of you that don't go the way that you want because you will have the self-awareness to know that you're creating it so you can literally change it in the moment and you can manifest everything that you want easily and quickly because you did the work to master yourself. All right, I love you guys so much. Until the next episode, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you're ready to go deeper and to get into my world, you can go to my website, alexaraysmith.com. You'll find all of my current programs on there. If you're desiring to get mentored by me, then the best thing to do is shoot me a DM on Instagram and we can talk about mentorship options and which one's the best fit for you. If you're absolutely loving this podcast, please go rate it five stars and let me know why you're loving it. This will help me share the podcast with more people. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And until the next episode, keep manifesting the most incredible life.